This is the ASUS TUF LC2 360 ARGB, one of ASUS's latest 360mm all-in-one CPU liquid cooler which is set to hit the market this late August. So today, we're going to take a look at this AIO and its cooling capabilities and see how it stacks up against other 360mm AIO. But first, a short word from our sponsor. Tired of losing due to high ping, lag, constant packet loss, unstable server connection, look no further. Gira Booster is here! Using it is as easy as taking candy from a baby. Just download the installer on their website, install the program, select the game you want to boost, like Diablo 4 which by the way will start its first season this July, and immediately see your latency go down. Gear Up supports a wide variety of PC and mobile games. Use our promo code JEGSTV for a 30% discount on your purchase. Check them out in the description below. Now back to the video. As usual, let's start with the unboxing. The first thing you're going to see when opening the box is this cardboard covering the package. The package includes three 120mm ARGB fans, the TUF stickers, the manual, the block and the radiator, and the accessories you're going to need to mount the AIO. The accessories include this 4-way ARGB cable, the 3-way fan cable, AMD mounting bracket, Intel backplate and mounting bracket, plastic colors, thumb screws, radiator screws, fan screws, the standoff screws, and this thermal paste. As for the 120mm ARGB fans, the blades are color white with semi-transparent frosted design. And according to ASUS, these are IP5X certified dust resistant, which means improved reliability and longer lifespan. And for the connections, the fans are equipped with a PWM and ARGB connector, which can be easily daisy chained using the provided cables. The radiator and cooling block are connected by the coupled pump, which ASUS claims to be quieter and reduces vibration. The tubes are sleeved and are made out of rubber, and the pump block is of course labeled with the TUF branding, which in my opinion is a simple yet bold design. Now it's time to prepare the radiator for mounting. First thing we need to do is screw the 120mm fans on the radiator. After that is done, prepare the four standoff screws and screw it on the backplate holes near the CPU. Now grab the radiator and mount it on the top of the case. Before buying this AIO, make sure your case is capable of supporting a 360mm radiator. So do keep your case in mind when deciding to buy this AIO. Time to prepare the cooling block for mounting. Since I'm using an AMD CPU on this build, I need to attach the AMD mounting bracket. The orientation of the bracket varies for AMD and Intel, so consult the manual for the proper instructions. Now don't forget to remove the plastic film on the cooling block. After that, grab the thermal paste and apply the right amount of it on the CPU. Now grab four plastic colors and insert them on the standoff screws. This serves as a spacer between the standoff screws and the cooling block. And finally, mount the cooling block and screw the thumb screws in place, and we're done. To daisy chain the fans, grab the 4-way ARGB connector and connect all ARGB pins in the proper orientation. After which, get the female end of the connector and connect it with the motherboard's ARGB header, which is usually located at the top side of the motherboard. For the PWM cables, grab the 3-way fan cable and repeat the process of connecting all of the pins. Then connect the end of the connector to the fan header of the motherboard, which is also usually located at the top side of the motherboard. Don't forget to connect the PWM cables of the pump to the proper header as well. And we're finally done installing the AIO. Now it's time to close up our case. But before firing up the PC, don't forget to remove the plastic film on the cooling block to avoid any issues.
Now for the part you've all been waiting for, some performance benchmarks. We've tested the LC2 against another 360mm AIO, testing them both on synthetic and gaming benchmarks. On idle loads, the LC2 performed better by almost 2 degrees on average against the X73. Do take note that both AIOs were on standard cooling profile, which essentially means stock performance. On firm mark, the X73 outperforms the LC2 by 1 degree. I was running firm mark for about 6 minutes when I took this metric, and both AIOs were running hot at around 84 to 85 degrees Celsius. The same numbers can be seen on Cinebench R23 multi-core test, but this time the LC2 got better results. Although both AIOs were still running hot at around 84 to 85 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that these synthetic benchmarks will push the CPUs to their absolute limits, and you won't see these kinds of CPU loads during gaming. On times by DirectX 12, the LC2 was outperformed by the X73 by a small margin. While on Diablo 4, the LC2 was running a little bit better compared to the X73. Both AIOs continue to trade blows on The Last of Us Part 1 as the LC2 was 1 degree hotter compared to the X73. While on CSGO, both AIOs had virtually the same performance. And finally on Hogwarts Legacy, Dota 2, and Black Desert Online, the results were all in favor of the X73 as it cooled the 7800X3D better by a small margin. Here's a quick rundown of the LC2's performance compared with other AIOs I have laying around. Overall, the LC2 handles the Ryzen 7 7800X3D pretty well especially when gaming. 60 degrees Celsius when gaming is a good temperature for this chip. Now for some sound test. Here's the noise the LC2 produces when on idle load. Now do take note I tested this with the case opened so definitely expect lower decibels when using this on a closed case. So there you have it, the Asus Tough LC2 360 ARGB. This AIO will have a price tag of around 150 US dollars or around 8,315 peso. The pricing is definitely competitive for this product segment, so this should definitely be in the list of your consideration when you're in the market buying for a 360ml AIO. So that's pretty much it. Are you going to buy this AIO? Let me know down in the comment section. If you like the video, click the thumbs up uh, and consider subscribing to the channel because it will help the channel a lot. See you guys in the next video. Bye!